Hello again, so welcome back. So today we will talk about the level of significance. So when you learn the hypothesis test, you will hear this word all the time. So it is important to understand the meaning of the level of significance, then so statistics topic may be much easier, especially the topic about the hypothesis testing. Okay. So, you know, you may hear all the time, so given r5 equal to 0 0.10 and 0 0.05 and 0 0.01 and then so on, right? And then, on the other hand, you also get the beta value, which is 0 0.90 and then 0 0.95 and 0 0.99 like that. Okay. When I drew the normal graph and explain this one, then it, I can explain that the one case, this is beta and this is alpha. So as you see, um, alpha is on the left side, so it becomes left tail test case. And the other case, so beta become here and the alpha become here, then it become right tail case. And as you assume already, now the beta value is uh, middle here, then two different alpha, especially alpha over two, will be located on two different sides. So this one is so always see that as a, diag a diagram or a picture on the textbook easily. However, we don't know this meaning very well until now. So I'm going to explain what that means. Okay, so the value of the beta, beta means the usual data set value, which means the majority of people believe so. And then alpha means the maximum allowable area value of the unusual case. Okay, then how to determine that? That's very important topic here now, right? Okay, so I'm going to just say uh, there's one um, case we roll a die. Okay, then now, so the first roll we got two here. So do you think it's possible? Yes, definitely. What about second one is also two? Maybe. And then third one also two. Now fourth attempts two. And then let's keep on going here. So you know what I'm talking about, right? So we rolling a die, then we keep, if we keep on getting only one outcome, which is two. Then at a certain point here, the majority of people start doubting, oh, that's not possible. You know, some people may give up maybe around the third time here. You know what, I don't agree. You know, so two, uh, outcome two come out, three consecutively, I don't, I don't think so. And then maybe some people say four times straight, no, I don't think so. And then so people start doubting here. And then eventually, a certain percentage, for example, I'm going to set up beta equal to 90. 90, then when 90% people just uh, say no, you know, this is enough, I don't agree anymore, then we have still other 10% people, they still think it may be correct, it may be happening, okay? So in this case, so 90% of people, their usual case, and then we just say 10% people we set up a neutral case and this value is alpha basically. Okay? So, if we just say that alpha equal to 0 0.10, which means now we allowed 10%, 10% of the outcome is a neutral case. That's what this means. Another word, 90% of data we allowed as the usual data set. 
Then, can you guess? I5 equal to 0 0.05. Then what does that mean? Yes, we allowed area of the unusual case 5%. Then, usual data set will be 0 0.95. That's, that's exactly what this, what this means anyway. So, now the last one, in this case we only covered three of them. After that, you understand much better. So, 0 0.01, which means we only allow 1% for, for unusual data set. Instead, we set up 0 0.99, which is 99% for usual data set here. So now, you see 95 is kind of middle here, right? So whenever we do maybe new research, new experiment, usually set up I5 to 0 0.05 because uh, this is the most reliable. And then 95%, we always say that's the standard data set. Okay? But anyway, the important concept is Alpha means we set up the data set, so 10% of data is unusual. In other words, 90% data is usual. Alpha is 0.05, then 5% is allowed unusual data set. 95% we allowed for usual data set. Then why do we do this way? Why not just say just the better with 100%? then it's really clear. But in our social circumstance, doesn't allow that. You know, some people, maybe majority of people, uh, believe some truth or fact, but there's, a, there's always a few, maybe population people, they disagree, okay? Therefore, we cannot set up beta value equal to 100%. So always we allow certain percentage for on your data set. And then this is the basically target for the research area. I hope uh, this video just um, give you some idea what does it mean of the level of significance and then why do you need it, especially if you're learning about the hypothetical test. Okay, thank you.